God, I don't know. I think I maybe want to be mauled by a lion. Hey! Owen Manning asks, do you think movies like the Dark Knight Trilogy or Infinity War will get remade in the future? No. And I'll be proven wrong in 30 years when Disney remakes everything again. Specs Dude asks, can your family hear you screaming when you make your videos? I'd like to think so, but probably not. There are a couple floors up. Richard Moe, have you ever had a neighbor or family member check on you because of your screams while filming? Also, if you had to be killed by an animal, which would you choose? My neighbors are old and heartless, so even if they did hear the blood-curdling screams from me, they would most likely ignore it, or their hearing aids don't work. As far as an animal... God, I don't know, I think I'd maybe want to be mauled by a lion. It just looks awful. I saw a video once of a person falling into the, the pen, and the lion comes up and like grabs him by the neck and he just kind of lays like still. Why do people send me shit like that? It was horrifying to watch. Maybe getting killed by a shark because why should I go out easy? Tyler Gable, does your family think it's strange that you do YouTube reviews? Also, are you aware that the majority of people will more likely hate you at first but then grow to enjoy every bit of your humor? Wasn't aware of that second part, Tyler. Usually they just get to the hate me part and walk away. As far as what my family thinks, my daughter just turned 10 and my son isn't quite seven yet. They both know I have a YouTube show. They don't really know anything more than that. They're too young and stupid to process what I'm actually doing. They don't know much about YouTube other than there's cat videos on there. My wife, she, she, I think, I mean, she likes it. She doesn't watch it, but she likes that it makes money. She likes that uh, it's a hobby of mine that I enjoy doing, that I'm not going out to the bars and masturbating on elderly women. Alexander McCarty asks, favorite film of 2018? I forgot what came out last year that I really enjoyed. I don't know, Alexander, you're putting me in a box right now. Creed 2 was good. Well, it definitely wasn't my favorite. What's up for best picture, Black Panther? <laughs> Honestly, and I know I'm definitely the minority on this, but I really liked First Man. I think it was just because of where I was at in life and as a dad and yada yada yada. But that one, that one hit me hard. I thought it was just beautifully filmed. And slower, slower paced movie, a little long for, for some. I can totally see that. Usually that's my complaint. But yeah, it, it really hit me. I, I think that was probably the most powerful film I saw in 2018. Maybe not the best, but... That comes to mind right away. Ryan asks, morning routine slash workout routine. I get up at 6.15, wife's up like an hour before me, like doing womenly things, scrapbooking, whatever the fuck they do. Um, kids get up, brush their teeth, do that whole thing. I make breakfast, usually eggs and sausage, throw a little pancakes in the mix, whatever. It's usually healthy, throw some fruit in there. By 7.25, I drop them off at school. My wife's already gone to teach at a different school. Then I drive to work. It's about 45 minutes on 55, go to Plymouth. I'm there at nine. I put in, uh, you know, four hour, four and a half hour day till 1.30 p.m. and I bolt. While I'm there, I work for three hours and I lift for an hour. We have a gym at the uh, at my workplace. I'm a web designer and, and front-end developer. On the way home, I'll hit up Chipotle, eat it in the car. Usually I'll dominate a burrito or a bowl. Chicken's my go-to. Sometimes I'll throw steak in. Sometimes I'll get the chips and guac and make a fucking day of it and throw in chicken and steak. Get that double meat. I go back, pick the kids up at 227 from school. I bring them home. I hang out with them for a couple hours. Uh, make sure they're bathed and showered, get that nasty kid smell and, and, and disease off of their bodies from school. They do their homework, we play, I'll beat them up, we'll play some Pokemon, we'll play some Smash Brothers on the Switch, a uh, little Spider-Man on the PS4. Wife will get home around, it's kind of random, but 4, 4.30, she'll make dinner, I'll make dinner, we kind of swap back and forth, and then I'll bid them adieu for the night because I still have to put in another four hours for my actual job. So I head over to a coffee shop locally because I will be distracted at home with all the stuff that needs to be done. She'll put the kids to bed. I go to a coffee shop, I uh, finish my work day out, and then I will start writing scripts for the YouTube channel or I'll do freelance web work, which my company's cool about. They know that people need a side hustle. So then I come back home, usually around nine, and I go down the basement once or twice a week and film. I try to get two or three episodes done at a time, which is why crit people criticize me when I wear the same shirts in multiple videos. I'm sorry. A, I don't have a lot of shirts. B, fuck you, I'm not changing, I'm not swapping clothes. I'm not, I don't have a wardrobe department, I don't have makeup. 
I know I should, but I don't. And my hair is too long, I need to get it cut. My workout routine is I work out every day. This is more to the question. So I do chest on Monday. I will do um, bench, I'll do incline, I'll do decline. I, I switch up the reps and the sets every like month or so. So maybe I'll do 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, and I'll, I'll keep upping the weight as I get lower on the reps. Sometimes I'll pyramid. Sometimes I'll do just a hard five sets of five. You know, so it varies. But Monday, and I'll do that with all these different lifts. So Monday is chest, Tuesday is back, Wednesday is arms, Thursday is shoulders, and Friday is the dreaded legs. And I'm a tall drink of water with piss poor legs. They're getting strong, but they don't look it. They don't look it. That's the, that's the challenge. That's the curse we tall people have sometimes. I look at others with those sculpted Greek-like god legs with their chiseled calves and I just get mad. Because you didn't work for those. You just genetically were given them, you son of a bitch. Sorry, I'm, I'm ranting. I'm going off. Thursdays, new movies come out. Thursday nights, so I'll see one uh, usually in St. Michael, which is like a 15-20 minute drive from me. I'll meet up with my stepbrother who's in that town. We'll watch a new movie. What do your boss and co-workers think about this channel? First off, I love the company I work for, Infinity Direct. I've been there for four years, I think. Maybe going on five. I don't know. I was, I was just awarded employee of the year this year, so that was pretty cool. 40 employees. It's not too shabby. I don't push my channel on my friends and family. If they find out about it or hear about it, that's, that's great, that's awesome. I actually run into family members that I don't see and they tell me that they've been watching my show for months or years and they get a huge kick out of every video that comes out and it'll throw me completely off guard because one, I don't talk to them and two, I have no idea because they don't reach out in the comments and they don't you know, talk to me. So it's a fun, pleasant surprise when I find out, but I don't want I don't want phony like family participation award viewers. I want real viewers who like the show and like what I'm doing and I want to engage with these people. I, I, I want online community people that maybe someday I'll see in person and we can talk movies. Jason asks, what movie do you love that I think you meant most people hate and what movie do you hate that most people love? Also, can I get a round of applause for no reason other than my entertainment? Well, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Speed Racer. Most critics hated it. I fucking love Speed Racer. It's awesome. And yes, you can. This is me clapping for Speed Racer. This is how adults act.